Hey, what's going on? Jay from JS Films here, and welcome back in Unreal Engine 5. Now, I know I made a video about this here, and it actually went viral on TikTok, but he actually updated this map recently to add a couple of things, so that's what we're going to be going over today. Additionally, I did miss some of the rooms here, like the bathroom. I read the comment uh, last week, like, where's the bathroom? I was like, yeah, crap, I didn't even see the bathroom. So I found it, and we're going to be looking at it as well. So let's go ahead and... uh. Check this out. I'm gonna set the resolution high because we actually do have DLSS enabled this time around. So let's press start. I have motion blur turned off and here we are. Now you can't see the frames per second. So let me go ahead and try that again. Sometimes it does that. So resolution, high resolution, and then start. All right, so now we are here. And first things first, you are going to notice that I did turn down the grass movements on the grass because last week people said that's way too much motion on the grass. It shouldn't be that windy. So one of the major updates on this map is that he did include a little widget or option for you to turn down the wind on the trees, the leaves, and the plants. So I'm going to show you that later after the demo. Okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and walk around a little bit. And as you can see, the grass looks a little bit better. It's not as windy as before because that definitely threw off a lot of people. I mean, we're going for photorealistic, right? So with it not moving too much, looks a lot more better. So additionally, the next thing he did add is he fixed the clipping on the curtains because last week, the previous version, the curtains did clip a little bit. So let's check a look at it here, this room. Now this is the bedroom, one of the bedrooms, and this is the first thing I miss, and this is actually the bathroom right here. Now I did add and remove some things here, so you, whenever you purchase this map, you might not see what you're looking at right now. It might be a little bit different. And again, one of the comments I saw was people commenting about the reflections. Now real-time reflection is another thing that is really hard to do, to be honest. Now, I'm not sure what kind of reflection he used in his mirrors, but you can see that it's, you know, it looks kind of old school type of reflections, but it's still pretty hard to do realistic reflections in real time. Again, also with water, see if I can turn this on. Here is the water that he has for this. Now, this is not like a visual effects. This is an arc vis, so you're not really looking for amazing special effects VFX here. We're just showcasing photorealistic, you know, like house assets. See here, nice flip-flops there. Now I couldn't find this reflection here. As you can see, I don't know if that's from the HDRI, but I did check. I could not find that bench from that reflection, which is kind of funny because I tried looking for it outside. I couldn't find it in this tub. All right, I'm getting like 40 frames per second, but I am also recording using uh, G4 Shadow Play, so do keep that in mind. All right, so let's move outside here. Take a look. Outside here, now I did remove the car, but I really just wanted to see, like, I wanted to show really just the opposite side of, because the house is so clean, I wanted to show something like dirty and crushed and destroyed yeah that grass looks a lot better all right let's move on to the living room okay here's the living room got fire going on right there now i looked that up last week it's old cascade if i remember correctly from last week particle there the fire fire is also hard to fake by the way but i'm pretty sure one day we'll get there all right moving on to the table changing the color of this table is pretty cool now it's funny because right now we moved into a new house and my wife's trying to p plan the kids playroom and she's like wouldn't it be cool if the thing that you're messing around with unreal can actually you know show you furnitures that i want and rearrange it to see what it would look like on a website, like a furniture website. And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. And I did bring that up last week. And wouldn't that be cool if you're just buying furniture and you know, you can actually 
plan, not pictures, but actually it's 3D. You can walk around like this in your new living room using this technology. I'm trying to press tab here, but it's not working. Okay, there you go. Click that in there. But this is actually changing the seats. Maybe the furniture companies will catch on with real-time rendering one day, and we will have that. So that's kind of cool. All right, so moving on to the kitchen here. I can also change the tabletop. Black, yellow, looks like marble. Then you got black. Pretty cool. Moving on to the fridge, which is a nice fridge. And again, reflections, right? That looks kind of funny. There's no reflection of me because I'm not real. And we can also change the color here. So let's do like all black. Ooh, that looks cool. Look at that. That looks freaking cool. All black. Oh, man. Oh, I just changed it to yellow by accident, but that's cool. Black and yellow. That's my favorite football team anyway. We'll go with that. All right, so let's move on to, oh, actually, the TV. Turn the TV on. If this is your first time watching, you can also turn a TV here. Oh, what's going on here? Hang on. Aim, and then click. All right, that's weird. Okay, so last week, I must have jacked stuff up in here. There should be a video in there, but it's not working. I'm not, I'm not sure what happened. But there should be a video playing in there. Little, I forgot what it was, but it was like a video. Okay, so moving outside. Look at the grass. It's nice. It's not moving as much. Palm trees. And the next thing he added is water inside the pool. You know, to really add some more realism. Again, another element that's hard to mimic in real time. Photorealistic is water. And I wish I can swim in here, but I'm just kind of walking through it right now. Because, you know, that's what we do. We walk on water. But I know Jesus. All right, so here we go. Oh, man. This is just crazy, you know. Whenever this is available for VR, I don't think people are going to go outside. This is just so pretty. But, as you can see, I mean, the shadows are pretty noisy still, right? Because Lumen is still in beta, right? And as you, you can see it here, really, because there's not a light in here. <laughs> you can see all that noise? That is really just not enough bounces that's reaching out. I mean, you can turn out, you can turn up the sun and maybe you'll get some more light in there, but that's really GI lighting this entire scene. There's no light in there. There's no light in here. This is all just GI. I mean, I think those are fake lights. And I think that's kind of just like a crack on top of the roof. But I would say there's really not much light in here. It's just GI that's working here, which is cool, right? And I think I missed one of the bedrooms right here. I don't know why I missed it, but I don't know. It's just really, really thin. Like this hallway here is so thin. But here's the spare bedroom that I did not see earlier. Now, I don't think you can open these. No, you can't open that. Look at that. It's beautiful, right? It's really pretty. Maybe add a couple of paintings in there. That looks awesome. All right, moving on. Oopsies, oh gosh. That door just smacked me in the face. Hang on, man. Let me let me get out of here. And I think that's it, because this is the bedroom outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the bedroom outside. That one's that bedroom, and this is that bedroom, which we already saw. Man, it's pretty darn cool. Right? Wait. Is that another? Is that? Okay, so that's that bedroom. Okay, I, I got that one. But, but this one also has one. Oh, this must be like a, like a spare, what do you call this, pantry. Because this is probably, if you take that wall down, this is connected to 
this. Yeah, that wall right there. So it's probably like a big pantry, like extra storage for groceries and stuff. So if I go right here, yeah, definitely. That's just an extra pantry. Definitely missed that last time. So yeah. All right. So now what I'm going to do is actually show you how to turn off the wind and all that stuff that he added here. So let's press escape and we'll go to this. It's actually right here called MPC. And I'll press G to hide the icons there. And I'm gonna double click this. And if I go to one, you're gonna see that that's moving. If I go to one here, you see the trees right here are moving harder. And one, and one. So it's pretty cool. Now, if you're having issues um, messing around with this, and if it's not working for you, make sure you let him know because he actually had to send me a video on how to fix it. But I think that was just probably me in my system. So if you go to this content house sample materials, there's a master here that you have to change, which he made a video of. So if you're having issues, go ahead and hit him up. Where is it? Right here. You just kind of pretty much add this right here. The global wind setting parameter. So yeah, but I had issues, but he was able to show me how to fix it. So as you can see, I can turn it off and off, turn it off and on, not turn it off and off. Uh, not there, you go to this house, MPC, and then I can turn this off. So zero, 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 well, zero, and zero. Press save. Okay, so you can see, it's standing still. Now, I'm going to show you one last thing, and then um, we'll end the video. And I'm going to go to high resolution again. I totally forgot. So let me run over there. Because there's a debate right now. Even watching the stream in the Unreal Engine YouTube channel, there's just a lot of freaking confusion right now. So... I've been doing a lot of experiments with this, just for the sake of me doing experiments, but Lumen is screen space. It's partial screen space. Reflections, I think, is both somehow. Because I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. You see this palm tree right here, okay? Now watch the table right here, the reflection. As I move down, as, as that tree is disappearing from my screen, the reflections are also disappearing. That's screen space. Now what's weird is sometimes the reflections don't act like screen space, but sometimes it does whenever I'm using lumen reflections. And as you can see right there, it's disappearing. Now I said lumen is screen space because I'm, I've done a couple of tests and I'll show you all, all in the channel as well on why I think Lumen is partially screen space as well. I read the documentation and it did say Lumen is screen space first and it does some kind of magic after that. So reflection, I am not sure. Maybe let me know in the comments below. So that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I did not get paid to make this video. I just really want to start supporting these guys. Uh, making, creating environment like this from scratch is super hard. Uh, so I am actually supporting these environment creators because I want to see more of this in the Epic Marketplace for virtual production, for CG animations in the future, for Unreal Engine 5 and 4. All right, if you all have any questions, let me know. And this is Jay from JS Films. I'll see you all later.